Hi everyone, it's uh, Ron Saker here. Now, one of the uh, most common uh, comments I've been getting since I have uh, did my first uh, video was, um, hey, we're having trouble installing this uh, software, whether it be on a PC or a Mac. Um, I'd love to tell you that I'm actually the creator of this software, but I'm not. Um, and the only way I figured out how to uh, install this on my Windows 10 PC was coming to his fact HTML page and reading up on um, very good uh, explanations here on you know on how to install it. So after probably an hour or two of getting really frustrated, like some of you, um, I finally did come through to the frequently asked questions. You know, typical uh, programmer. Uh, anyway, uh, I un uninstalled the software. Then I went and um, downloaded the Java um, for my, uh, you know, for Windows. And there's a link there for Mac. So I installed that. And even though I had Java on my computer, uh, it wasn't the most up to date uh, one. Um, so I installed that and then downloaded the uh, software again and uh, unzipped it into the folder. I didn't put it on the desktop like this guy suggests you do. I actually put it into a, uh, a folder so uh, I always knew where it was. Um, so that's about all I can tell you as far as doing the installation is just really go through and, and read this, uh, this page. Um, and just, you know, if, if you have problems uh, installing the Java runtime, then there's a very good explanation and um, how to fix it and all that. Um, and I'm probably being very vague here, but uh, the, the owner has a very good um, facts on the installation. What I will do uh, is now that I've actually had my little blurb on here so I'll actually go through into the folder where I do have the crossword crossword express uh, zip file um, and I'm just gonna right click on that and open it up with 7-zip uh, uh, and just extract it into a folder called crossword express uh, doesn't take that long to actually Unzip, and that's actually all the installation there is in the software. You don't, there's nothing else for you, you know, there's no exe to run or to uh, install. Um, this is how it comes, you know, once, once, it, once it's installed, these are all the folders that it creates, uh, and that's the Java uh, exe. So it's just simply uh, double clicking on that. No, excuse me, and the software comes up. There's nothing more to it. I don't. I'm not trying to be too flippant about it, but you know, it is as easy as that. Excuse me. Um, so I was. Uh, I showed you how to create these ones um, in the first video. So it's basically you select whatever it is that you want to create. So if it's a standard crossword. Let's go there, click on go, and you will find that, you know, people ask me, well, how do I create my own uh, dictionary to create these, um, these type of crosswords? Just click on the help, and go there, crossword help, and it actually opens up another dialog box here that will go through and explain to you exactly how to create you know, the, or build your crossword puzzle. Uh, this guy has thought of everything and I'm absolutely uh, pleased he has. <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't know how many years it took this guy to put this software together. Uh, you can read why he's actually uh, giving this away free and, you know, it's up to us to utilize it to the best of our advantage for our business. Um, I will cover one thing as well. I have been asked, what about uh, the attributing 
this gentleman, you know, putting a, an attribution in our puzzle book uh, to, to this or for this gentleman. Uh, he states that in the uh, facts as well that it's not imperative. He's not demanding that we do that. He's just saying that, hey, if you feel like doing it, then, you know, that uh, helps him, you know, because it's uh, just another way of, of getting his um, puzzle software out there. Okay, so that's enough of me rabbiting on. That's uh, the best I can do for, as far as the installation uh, of the software. But I will actually go through. There's a lot of puzzles here, so, you know, bear with me. I will try to go through each one of these individually. I'm probably going to um, focus a lot on the actual uh, Japanese style um, puzzles, you know, Furusiku and Gogenko and all such, uh, before I start doing any of the word search or word squares or acrostic or any of these others. Um, I'm not an expert on these, so uh, if there's somebody that's actually downloaded this software and has uh, wants to proclaim themselves as being the expert on creating some of these um, crossword puzzles, uh, this one I, I can do. I, there is a way of actually getting it to look like that, uh, but not initially when you go through. Anyway, sidetracked. <laughs> so if anybody wants, feels like they want to get in there and show how to do the grid maintenance or, or create a dictionary uh, by all means um, do your video let me know and I'll uh, put it into uh, the low content resources uh, group so um, if you can do that that'd be absolutely fantastic okay well as I said that's enough in this video and I'll be back um, sharing my secrets on how to do the compiling. Bye for now.